Hi, welcome to the Harry Vegetarian. I'm here with my friend Brian Shapiro, and he's going to make shakshuka. Right, so what is shakshuka, you're asking? I've never heard of this. Shakshuka is a North African dish. It's very popular in the Middle East. It's very popular in Israel. As a matter of fact, in Tel Aviv, there's a restaurant called Dr. Shakshuka. So really, what is it? Basically, it's a red sauce base, a tomato sauce base that you make kind of spicy. And then what you do is when the sauce is simmering away, we're going to take some eggs and we're going to make a well in the sauce and we're going to crack the eggs into the well. Actually, I'm going to show you an easier way to do it than having to worry about juggling, egg, you know, cracking eggs over bubbling sauce. It's really easy. It takes about 15 or 20 minutes to make the entire dish. And the really cool thing about shakshuka is it's a breakfast dish. It's a lunch dish. It's a great it's dinner dish. Be dinner for us. And to be really honest with you, this is all stuff you have probably have in the house. There's very little, there's nothing you need to run out and get to make this. So let's get started. So one of the things you're going to need to do is we're going to need to prep a pepper. So we're going to use a red pepper, a red bell, and I'm going to dice it up pretty fine. And I like to remove the ribs from the center. And the way I like to cut the pepper, it's pretty simple. So I cut it into strips, maybe a little less than a quarter of an inch thick. And then all I'm going to do is dice. And there you've got a nice fine dice. So we're going to set that aside for just a minute. I don't know about you, but I like heat. And this dish has a bit of heat onto it. And when I do heat, I like to do multiple layers of heat. So to this dish, pepper-wise, I'm going to put a jalapeno that I'm going to dice into it. We're going to put some cayenne pepper into it. We're going to put a little crushed red pepper into it. And of course, definitely some black pepper. So if you see me putting on gloves, it's for a very good reason. Okay. Human eyes and body parts don't mix with hot peppers. So what I always do is I cut my pepper wearing gloves. So I'm going to remove the ribs and the seed. And now watch this. This is how I make it. I'm going to cut them in like matchsticks. Because you want this fine. Because you want it to go throughout the entire dish. And then I'm going to take those matchsticks and I'm going to dice them fine. And that's exactly how you do it. So let's get started. So through the modern miracle of video, I've got my onions. You're also going to need an onion. And everybody knows how to cut an onion. So this is a, a medium onion. It can be a yellow onion, a white onion. I had a red onion. So I'm going to heat up a cast iron skillet. Does it have to be a cast iron skillet? No, it doesn't. But to be honest with you, I like my cast iron skillet. It gets really, really hot. It stays hot a long time. And there's just something really nostalgic about cooking and something that my grandmother used to use. Well, she used cast iron, but not this one per se. This one I bought pretty recently. Okay, so now our pan is hot enough. So I'm going to put in, oh, just a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. And you can tell when it's hot enough because the olive oil kind of skitters around the pan. Let me get the pan, the bottom of the pan coated with olive oil. Then I'm going to add that medium diced onion. And I'm going to stir that through and keep sauteing it in. And to this, I'm going to add, I'm going to add some herbs, but I'm going to wait a couple of minutes. So we want to get these translucent, so this might take a couple of minutes. I'm going to add my peppers. That was just one red bell pepper dice. And the best part, the jalapeno. Be careful. Like I said, you don't want to touch the stuff and then touch your eye. Okay, so this is starting to look really good. 
nice and it's starting to soften. The onions are getting translucent. So now we're going to add some of the aromatics, actually all the aromatics. So I've got here, I don't know, about a quarter, half a teaspoon of Italian, er, Italian herbs, some crushed red. Let's call it a quarter of a teaspoon. Cayenne pepper, quarter of a teaspoon, <laughs> maybe a little more. A little bit of cumin. Now generally I will tell you I am not a fan of cumin. But it works here. A little bit of salt. And wow, you smell that? Mm hmm. That smells terrific. Okay, so now I'm going to add one 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. This is something just about everybody has in the house. If you don't, you should. I make industrial quantities of tomato sauce. Turn the heat down. Stir it through. And this is going to simmer for about 15 minutes. You want this to thicken really nicely. So our shakshuka sauce has been simmering for about 15 minutes. And it's really tightened up. I added a little more olive oil to it, so it's nice and shiny, it's really beautiful. And we're going to get ready to put the eggs into it. So there are no hard and fast rules for, for shakshuka, you kind of put in it what you want. So a couple of times ago I started adding feta cheese just because I had it in the house, and I really like it. So I'm going to sprinkle about well, a good cup of feta cheese into it. I'm going to give it a rough stir through, not a huge stir because I want some on top, because this is going to go under the broiler. And this is going to bring some salt to the party. So now I've got that, so I'm going to start turning the eggs into it. So what you're going to do is, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take the spoon and I'm going to make a little indent, and I've taken the eggs and I've cracked them into ramekins. You can use paper cups, you can use glasses. If you feel so inclined, by all means, crack the eggs right in. But to be honest with you, I've never been that good with cracking eggs with one hand. I can crack eggs with one hand. Either yeah. hand. Wow, that's talent. <laughs> I don't have that talent. I just find this works better for me. It's kind of foolproof. So all I'm doing is digging a little well with the spoon and tucking the egg in. So I find in this skillet, five or six eggs works best. So I've got all my eggs in. I'm going to put a little, little pepper on each one, tiny bit of salt. Now, two ways to finish this. You could put a lid over this and finish it on the stove. What I like to do is finish it in the broiler. And while wow, that's cooking, I made some toasts earlier, and they're done. And I just cut up some Italian bread. This was semol semolina bread. Drizzled a little olive oil on it, and that's really perfect. You can serve this with toasted pita, and I've done that. But I just really like the texture of the Italian bread. So what are you looking for? I'm looking to see that the yolks are, the, the, the whites are cooked. I can handle, I like a runny yolk, but I can't stand it when the whites are running. It's not, it's not good food. Yep, we're done. And they're done. Look at that. So, be careful that pan is hot. So here's what you do. You want to snag in and get some sauce and put it in the bottom of the bowl. And then get an egg and put it right on top. A little more sauce. Piece of toast. Want to try it? I think I do. <laughs> now be careful, it's hot. Shakshuka. Shakshuka. Mmm. Just a little runny. Mm. 
perfect for breakfast, brunch, dinner. Wow. It's hot. Mmm. Mmm. I love it. I hope you make it and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks. Thank you.